Yeah, one of uh, India's best-known companies have said that uh, they've got 5,000 staff and they've said that they're going to allow 10 extra days a year for period leave if they need to take it. So they're saying it's something that we felt like we wanted to do. It's still a taboo subject uh, for some, but it's something that you shouldn't be uh, shameful for or have a stigma attached to it. It is something that you do need time out if you have um, pain for it and Mm -hmm. you can't go to work because often you're having to lie about it. I don't know if there's many employees that will call up and say, hey, I've got a painful period today. I'm not going to come in. Well, I think it, it's hard for for a man when when a woman says it because we can't relate. Like we honestly don't know how it feels. Mm. Um, so we don't know what to say. So we do what we usually do and run away scared. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't have to conceal it anymore, feel anxious or uh, guilty about it. You, you have that in your leave. And there is a company in Victoria that's done this and uh, there's they've only got 15 employees. They're all female. They said over 18 months of when they introduced it, only eight days in that whole staff applied for it. Right. So they're saying just having it there doesn't mean that everyone is going to use yeah. it the whole time. How would you feel about it here in our workplace? Totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would have a problem with it. I would hope that no one would abuse it. Mm. But I know that there are a lot of women here that have endometriosis, that have severe pain yeah. and it's crippling, and they're taking the days off anyway. Mm. Yeah, true. You know, and they're having to say that it's other things, and I think that way it's open for debate. Like, oh, did you have a big night? You know what I mean? Mm. So I think for that, to have it not taboo, and the more we talk about it, mm. the more comfortable we are.